Hello YouTube, this is a reptile contest entry for Reptile Dude 348. I'm going to enter my Bibrin's Gecko. It's the name there. These are also commonly known as Pactactylus Bibroni, which is the Latin name. And they can be related to the Turner Gecko. So I'll take some of this plants out. It originates from Africa and South Africa. Its morph is a normal, as there aren't any morphs out yet, I don't think, because they aren't a popular species. Their heating is just a heat map there, the light at the top. This is going to be a how to video and also just a reptile entry. It, it's and I'm probably going to enter it for the angriest as well. Not that it'll bite me or anything, but, but it lashes out at me and stuff. So the way to pick them up is to get underneath the substrate and kind of just make a lump. That way you can get under it. Because mm. these are very fast geckos. And they love to run and go up the walls and stuff. So I got him, I got him, I got him, I think. Now, I picked him up under his belly and then lifted him up quite slowly. And then now I can just hopefully kind of just rest him down on my hand. Right. There we go, just that. Like just got eco worth all on my hands. So that's how to handle them. And he. They're daytime and also nocturnal animals. I haven't really discovered yet because it you get different comments from people on reptile forums and also on care. They usually I've seen some feed in the day and then apparently some feed at night. So the colour and this is a fact and that I've kind of discovered for myself. The colour is quite dull and quite sharp. And I think um, another name for them is the crocodile gecko, as they have these crocodile-y rock shapes on them. And it is to blend in with the background. You can kind of tell that it kind of goes really well. And sometimes when they hide in the shade of it, they um, can't be seen. Apart from their bright orange eyes. Once you get him out, he's very tame and likes to be handled, but otherwise he's not so keen. And uh, my, my my light's not so good at the moment, so I have to keep him in his enclosure. So I will just put him back on his vine. Hopefully that he gets on to this time. Because, oh, all right, I'll put him back on the floor. Then that's how to kind of pick them up just like that. That way it's comfortable for them and it's comfortable for you and it won't matter if they run. So with these geckos you have to be kind of careful with the handling. So I don't want to keep the doors open for them to run out. So in the bottom we've got Ecoworth and then when you work up to the top you've got his kind of arboreal setup because they are arboreal and my Christy Gecko setup is completely different so in this you've kind of got to have a mixture of both because they like to hide in the ground sometimes that's why you can see in there it's a male as I got it sold in the shop to me as a male so hopefully it is and their feeding is mealworms um, I'm sorry I can't feed him because is new and he's just still trying to settle in because I've bought him on Thursday and now it's now Sunday so I'm still leaving him to settle in so I've left him some mealworms in his dish and they're crawling around everywhere so hopefully he can see just trying to fix my camera like so they're feeding they pretty much eat anything that you give to them anything like insect type so Mealworms, crickets, um, I think 
I've forgotten what they're called now, those. Those, um, they're like grasshopper type things. But they're bigger. I've forgotten what they're called. But anyway, those type grasshopper. Yeah, no, they eat grasshoppers. If you can buy them. Wax worms. So, that's just a view of him there. They grow eight inches, seven to eight inches. So, they're quite easy. This is the, um, the foot by two foot setup that Exoterra do. And they are quite easy to care for, and they're only £15, which is probably around about $40. So, thanks for watching, guys, and hopefully you learnt some information about this.